What is up humans and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cutting for you guys this beautiful piece of crystal Ethiopian opal. It's got good color on both sides. Uh, got good red, yellow, green, some blue, some turquoise. Both flat sides of it are dirt free, but when you look at it with a flashlight, it is mostly clean in there. Of course, there's intruding dirt on the dirty side, and the part that slopes down like a pie piece is obviously very clean on that part, but I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a crack right in the middle of it right there, and this is the reason why I'm carving it right now. I pulled this piece aside in the middle of the night and started carving it because I saw this crack. Um, so when we measure it, it is... 16 millimeters on both sides of the stone would we weigh it out it weighs 11.92 carats this is a real nice piece we're gonna see how much of this i can save but obviously i'm gonna have to grind a fair amount of it away because of that crack but if you want to see how i shape this stone stay tuned So we're starting out by shaping the stone, but before we do any of that, it's important to wear glasses and a dust mask when you are working with silica-based stones. Now working on my 800 grit diamond bit Dremel tip here on the lowest speed, I'm pressing down on where that crack was and trying to grind it away down just through the crack, not really hitting the rest of the stone, and as you guys can see here, uh, I'm just divoting the face down where that crack is and trying to get it out before it cracks more. I and mean, as you can see right here, I've uh, dug down pretty deep into that divot and I'm still just carving down into the face here. Now at this point, I had started shaping the stone and I started hitting it around all the edges where the dirt was and trying to get it into a round shape as symmetrical as I could. As you can see here, I've ground away quite a bit of the stone trying to get a good shape on it, but that's just the way things are sometimes. This is the shape that I ended up getting after the rough grit there. And I'm now moving on to my black Nova point and just trying to get the scratches off from the last tip. At this point, there's no crack or anything left in it. Uh, so I'm really just kind of polishing it a little bit. And now moving on to my brow Nova point and just continuing to shape and polish. And then now I'm moving on to my gray Nova point here, starting to polish, making sure that there's no scratches left in it from the previous Nova points. And then here I am 
starting the polishing process with my pink Nova point here. And this is the final piece that I use water on my opal. And I am dipping my hand down in a pan of water as I'm doing it. And this is the stone after I've shaped it, after I've novaed it, when it's still full of water. And then this is the stone after I let it dry out on my shelf for a couple days. Now on a felt tip with some diamond grit lapidary paste, I am continuing to polish this on the lowest speed. And this is my 5 micron diamond grit lapidary paste. I'm now moving on to my 3.5 micron diamond grit lapidary paste and just continuing to polish, wiping off in between and making sure that there are no scratches from the previous polish buffer. And then this is now my 2.5 micron diamond grit polishing lapidary paste. This is my 1.5 micron diamond grit lapidary paste. Now continuing to polish with my 1 micron diamond grit lapidary paste. And then this is my 0 0.5 micron diamond grit lapidary polishing paste. And then finally, before cerium oxide, this is my 0 0.25 micron diamond grit polishing paste. All right, and this is the final stone, guys. It ended up being a pretty round shape. I'm happy enough with the shape that I got. I wish I didn't lose so many carrots, but you know, I knew that that was gonna happen. This is what the back looks like, by the way. Just thought I'd show that off. I don't always show off the back. I try to, but here's this one. When you measure out this stone, it is uh, nine millimeters on both sides, so. When it was a rough piece, as we saw, it weighed 11.92 carats. Before it dried out, when it was at Nova Pointed, it was 1.91 carats. Our final weight today is 1.7 carats. We ended up losing a total of 10.22 carats, a little before and after action, the stone before we cut it, the stone after we cut it, and yeah, it's a huge difference, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry these last couple of stones are cracky. I hope that my next few stones are a bit more yielding for you guys, but I'm happy enough with this stone. I really appreciate all you guys who've been watching. I but I want to show you guys every time that I drop my stone this episode. And then also this is a little painting that I did, just thought I'd show that off with you guys, and this is even older than the previous painting. I hope you guys like this video, uh, comment if you like to comment, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, that would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to post every Wednesday, but I can't guarantee anything, so I'll see you guys next time that I post.